Let's take a look at some of the changes to the user interface within Studio One 5. And to begin with, we'll start on the start page. Now there's not much to discuss here, but we do have the addition of a new show button, which will take us to the show page, which was designed for live performances. Now we won't cover the show page at this time because we're gonna go into depth on this new feature in a separate tutorial. Now we also have the show button displayed in the top right corner. And as with the other buttons here, it will be shown here no matter what page that we are working on. So let's move on to the song page and take a look at some of the other changes that have been made to the interface within Studio One 5. Next in line, we've got some changes that have been made to each of the effects plugins. And we can even see that as I scroll through the effects within the browser, each of the thumbnails looks a bit different here. If we take a closer look at a few of these, then we can see that in relation to the older interfaces, the changes are pretty significant in my opinion. Beyond the cosmetic changes that have been made to the effect plugins, many of them have also been improved with new features such as state space modeling, improved width controls, and external sidechain inputs. We'll take a look at each of these plugins and some of these new features as well as the old features that were already there in depth in coming tutorials. If we take a look at the Studio One options menu, we'll also find that we have the option to change the look of our effect plugins with three different settings, colored, light, and dark. The setting that we make here will apply to all of our effect plugins. And just keep in mind that in an earlier release of Studio One, we were given the ability to discreetly choose the color of a few of our instruments by repeatedly clicking on the Personas logo. With both our effects and instruments, we can choose to have colorized headers for our effects and instruments by going to the Options menu, Advanced tab, Console, and then choosing Colorize Plugin Header. If we change the color of our track within the Track Column area, we can see that our Plugin Header will also change to reflect that. Within the editing tab of our options menu, we have a couple of new additions that we can make use of. The first being show envelopes on instrument parts. Now with this unchecked, when I add automation to an instrument part within the part automation lane, this does not show on our MIDI part within the arrange view. But once I check this option, we can now see that our automation, or we can now see the automation on the MIDI part within the arrange view. We also have the addition of draw event badges and we can see what that does to our event if I toggle that off. Not a new feature, but something that I was not aware of is that we can choose whether our events will be translucent and we can set that here. And finally, our last change to the user interface in Studio One 5 is the look of a channel within the track inspector. We can see the old view here, and if we take note of the location of our mute, solo, channel, editor, record arm, and so on buttons, these have now been moved over to the left, giving us a bit of a cleaner design and having our inserts and sends completely taking up the right-hand side, and the channel controls are going to now be all shown on the left. So this has been a look at the new changes to the Studio One interface in version 5. I hope you found the video helpful and thanks for watching.